Hi, I'm Dr. Jagme Sethi, and I practice medical cannabis treatment at the Cannabis Clinic in Ontario, Canada. This video is on CBG and ADHD diagnosis or ADD diagnosis, attention deficit disorder. Um, and patients with ADHD have trouble focusing and concentrating on tasks, and that's uh, very uh, difficult for them to finish their task or focus on their task. Um, so this new cannabinoid CBG or cannabigerol um, helps improve focus and clarity in ADHD patients. CBG is not intoxicating and not addictive, which is what makes it remarkable and improves focus. So it is a newer cannabinoid in cannabis medicine um, and has gained a lot of momentum in the last three to six months, especially in the ADHD population. Um, so really it has no side effects and improves focus. So that is remarkable. The oils for ingestion that are available in Canada have both CBG cannabigerol and CBD cannabidiol. Remember CBD cannabidiol is very well known. It's the non-intoxicating part of cannabis as well. It reduces inflammation, it reduces muscle stiffness, reduces pain, it reduces anxiety, but it does not improve clarity or focus. That is never something CBD has ever done. Even though some people may say they take CBD during the day and their focus is better, the only reason they say that is because, it, because they usually they have underlying anxiety and they take CBD and they feel better with the anxiety so they can do their task, but CBD in itself does not improve clarity or focus. CBG, cannabigerol on the other hand, improves clarity and focus. So let's compare CBD and CBG. CBD, um, it, like I explained to you, is non-intoxicating, non-addictive. CBG also non-intoxicating, non-addictive. CBG also reduces inflammation, reduces pain, but especially helps neuropathic pain. So the, the effect on neuropathic pain on CBG is quite remarkable as well. So CBG has some extra things to offer and has a synergy with CBD, and that's probably why the oils are provided with a mix of CBG and CBD. CBG is available by itself. I have not really... Um, given patient CBG by itself yet, it's still too early and it's something as time passes, uh, we'll see how that evolves in the clinic. But for now, I'm very excited how well the CBG, CBD oils are working for ADHD patients with clarity and focus. So they take CBG, CBD combination in the morning and again in the afternoon. It's not really used at night because it doesn't really help sleep. Um, the other point with the ADHD population is, and I made another video on ADHD and focus and clarity, is that THC, the psychoactive part of cannabis, also helps improve focus and clarity in ADHD patients. When an ADHD patient smokes or takes THC in small, tiny doses, it improves their focus. Whereas another patient with a different diagnosis, like say they have back pain or some other diagnosis, and they take THC, their focus and concentration will go down. It will reduce their focus and concentration. But in an ADHD patient, microdosis of THC improves focus and clarity, and I don't know why that is. But it's definitely true because it's been seven years now, and after thousands and thousands and thousands of patients of ADHD that I have talked to, this is a well-known fact. And if you talk to an ADHD patient who has used cannabis, they'll tell you themselves that they will microdose THC through the day to help improve focus. So what's exciting about this is that now maybe that microdosing of that THC can be replaced by CBG because CBG is non-intoxicating, non-addictive part of cannabis. And maybe this would be a good cannabinoid to replace the THC during the daytime for that population. How they will compare head to head a patient taking CBG during the day versus microdosing THC in terms of focus and clarity, time will tell. And then I'll post a video when I know that better. Um, for now, this is certainly exciting to see a new cannabinoid that's doing so well in the clinic. Um, so I'm happy to say that. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye.